you've probably are sitting there thinking, I want to start a business, but I just don't know where to begin. And the biggest problem is that you don't know what type of business to start. And this is a problem that a lot of people run into. And so what I wanted to do was I made a list of some ideas and I wanted to share maybe a dozen or so business ideas that perhaps will help you in launching your own entrepreneurial experience. And the first one I want to start with is kind of what I call low hanging fruit. It's the easy entry into uh, starting a business and that's really starting a personal blog. Now you might think, well, how in the world do you make money off of a personal blog? And, and honestly, the way you do that is you have to build followers. So that means that your blog has to be interesting and it has to uh, attract people that want to follow your journey. And so what ends up happening is when you get to a certain threshold, most blog sites will allow you to uh, earn money through advertising. So they place the advertisements on your blog and you make a revenue off of that. The other way you can do it is by getting sponsors for your blog and then you place the ad yourself in the blog. So that, that's some ideas on the blog side. Now, the other thing that you could do is build an online store. Now this gets to be a little more sophisticated and you may need a little more help with this, but honestly, you don't need a fancy website to get started. Um, I use Wix.com as my web provider and uh, they have a shopping cart that is built on that. And it's a pretty much a drag and drop to set it up. But you can also go on to Facebook and Facebook doesn't, it doesn't cost anything to set up a Facebook page and to run a shopping cart through your Facebook page. There's a way to do that. You can check that out. Uh, another way is through Shopify and some other um, products out there that allow you to build a shopping cart. And with regard to online stores, you can also set up what's called a membership website. Now, that's what I run. I run a membership website where I offer my expertise uh, on a regular basis, but there's also other, um, other items that I offer like training, video training like this training here and some uh, you know free tools and, and things like that. And so basically I'm focused on helping people to start their business and scale their business or grow their business. And so a membership website is really cool because it's a month to month website. And my, a good friend of mine just this morning texted me and said, hey, it's kind of like real estate where you have one of these storage locker businesses where people pay you money to store your, your product, store you know, their stuff for every month. And so you get paid a reoccurring revenue each month. And so membership websites are really good revenue generators. And I actually have a training on that, on what that looks like and how you scale that out. You can also say, sell online courses. Now this goes along with the membership website. This is what I do, I sell online courses. Now, what we're talking about here specifically is selling online courses um, a la carte, so one at a time. Uh, so you have these two different ideas, membership website where you get online courses or you get one-off online courses where you're charging them $19.95, $29.95, $150, whatever it is that you're charging for that training. You can also create a drop shipping website. Now, drop shipping is where you don't actually have any, um, any product in a warehouse. What you're doing is you're agreeing to sell a product for someone else. You're the middle person. And what you do is you receive the order, you go and buy, buy the product wholesale and have it shipped to the end user and you make a small margin or profit. The next thing that you could do is launch a fashion blog. And I want to couple this with launching a fashion Instagram as well. Now, I, again, going back to the blog, you can earn revenue, uh, obviously, uh, through ad generation and sponsorship. But the Instagram gets to be a little bit different because then you need to uh, find ways of making money through the influencing. And, and there are ways to do that. And we're not going to get into that in this video. Start a travel website. Now, this is where you help other people to book travel arrangements. And if you're interested in travel, you could build that. You can make a food or recipe website. If you're into cooking or maybe you have this hobby where you collect recipes, why not share them? Why not set up a website where other people can get that? Why not uh, sell your, your take on the recipe on your website? Uh, start a podcast. I personally use anchor.fm. And on anchor.fm, they allow you to uh, earn money through ad generation. 
they place the ads on your on your on your um, podcast. But you can also again do product product placement of, on your own and have sponsors for that. You can, if you're into helping people find jobs, you can get a job hunt website started up. You can make a coupon website. You know, Groupon is a billion dollar business. And so you can set up your own coupon website. Um, you can start a restaurant website. Now, in my mind, restaurant websites can be many different things. One, it could be ad, ad generation, uh, ad, advertising um, generation, where you feature a certain um, you know, restaurant or, or place to eat. It could be a bar or grill. You can feature those on your website and for an ad, for ad revenue, you can, you know, have a special type of um, ad up there or, or special type of write up for that restaurant. This could also be um, for reviews of the restaurant. And so that, that is certainly, and following on that building a review website, you can set up a review website that reviews uh, anything or it can review a specific thing. Maybe you're interested in electronics or video games. You can do a video game review website, or maybe you do want to do a website that reviews restaurants. You can set that up. If you're into photography, you can set up a photography website. Um, you can start an online delivery business. And I'm going to tell you right now, uh, we're still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, but even post pandemic, I'm telling you, one of the biggest revenue generators out there is delivery businesses. And don't underestimate the power of delivery businesses. So you might want to think about starting an online delivery business. And then finally, sell handcrafted items. You can sell them on Etsy and other websites that are focused on that type of um, product or service. Now, these are just a few ideas. Obviously, I didn't go very deep with them. But I wanted to just generate some ideas. Think of your own. Make a list. Get out a list of things that you like to do for a hobby that you enjoy doing. Um, when you have the chance, maybe it's not a hobby, but you just enjoy it. Write down the things that you're good at in your job today. And maybe there's something in there that could spur creativity to start your own business. I'm Dr. Foster. I'm with MaximumChange.com, where I help individuals start their business in about seven days, even if it's their very first time. I'd love to help you. Hope you have a great day.